Good morning, everyone. We are here again in Hutchison, Kansas. More specifically than that, we're at the Hutchison State Fair. This is the 111th annual Kansas State Fair. We were here on Tuesday. Today is Thursday, September the 12th, and it's about 10.15 a.m., and we just now got here. We're going to do a lot more than we did on Tuesday. We concentrated mainly on, uh, you know, like the uh, Sky Tram and the pig races. We're going to be walking through pavilions and going to animal uh, barns today, mainly. So, if you're not doing anything, come on along and join us as we explore the Kansas State Fair today. <clears throat> we saw those big trucks on Tuesday, and I tell you what, they're not cheap. Very, very expensive. We got the Expo Center coming up. We may go in there and look around a little bit, exhibit some concessions inside. Okay, I don't know why we can't go in there and look around a little bit. And we rode the Sky Tram on Tuesday. I'm going to have to do the milking demonstration over again because I had my camera set up too high and I didn't tape on taping anything but the upper wall of ceiling. So I had to scrap that and I'm going to do it again sometime this morning. But right now we're going to go in the Expo Center Get ready to rock out with right the now. The rock stars See what's going on in here this morning. They bring the energy and excitement of the 80s right to the stage. Tonight's concert begins at 7 30 p.m. Tickets okay, I don't know if they're doing anything right now. But we are at the Expo Center this morning. And they do have a. It says the feed bunk. And they got a big black horse up here on the roof. of uh, their concession stand. So, we may have to go up here and see what's going on. Yeah, you know, when you use something for the very first time, you're going to make mistakes. Well, the head mount, I just had it, I thought I had it straight on, but when I reviewed the footage, there just wasn't anything there, but the like I said earlier, the ceiling. So, I'm going to try not to make that mistake again. And I'm wearing my uh, chest mount and my head mount and my wrist mount today. Now, whether or not I'll use all those today, I don't know. I might and I may not. It just kind of depends on how the day goes. Um, I think I'm going to ride the Ferris wheel today. I may try using my wristband on the Ferris wheel today. The Ferris wheel here at the Kansas State Fair, I think, in my own personal opinion, is pricey, to say the least. Uh, by the time you get taxed, everything added on, it's like uh, $16 a piece to ride that Ferris wheel. And I'm sorry, but that is just, that is, I think, a, you know, a little on, on the expensive side. But having said that, I think I'm going to ride it today. I was going to ride it yesterday. I decided not to. I think I'm going to today. The wife does not like rides like that, so I'll probably just ride it by myself later on this morning. And as I already stated, I'm going to ride the, uh, or not ride, I'm going to do the cow milking demonstrations again uh, sometime this morning. But yeah, right now we're just kind of walking through some of the animal barns and we didn't go through any pavilions Tuesday, none. Um, so we're gonna do that today and look through some more of the animal uh, barns today. But that's just basically it. I mean, we're just going to kind of play it by ear and uh, see what we can do here uh, this morning. All right. Okay. I think it's taking place down here, honey. 
is where we need to be. I think it's down here on this end. There's nothing going on up here. Now, if something's going on down there, I'm not sure what, if anything at all. But that's where all the activity seems to be. Huh? Although I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. There are people setting down here, so I don't know. Most people sitting down there, though, honey, to watch. Okay, the one thing going on at the that one pavilion. So now we are at the Kansas Veterinary Birthing Center. So we're going to go in here and take a look around a little bit. Oh boy, I guess. Oh, look over here, we've got some baby chickens, it looks like. Huh? Yeah? Okay. Really crowded in here. On that that side over there is really crowded. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, looky here. That looks like a calf. Yeah, looky there. Calf. There's another one down there. Okay, let's walk over here. Here we go. Or Orville Miller Dairy, Hutchinson, Kansas. That's a big cow. Look at that. Oh, howdy. That's a big old cow. <coughs> Orville Miller Dairy. And there's a dairy cow, the milking cow. Boy, that's a big cow. Okay, let's go on this other side over here, if we can. Oh yeah, looks like we got uh, goats over here. Yeah. There they are. They should be having yeah. their babies here pretty soon. Oh cool, good. Good deal. Okay. All right. Oh look, 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 look at baby pigs. Well, there's a bunch of them, too. Let's see if we can get up here. Look at them here real quick. Boy, look at all of them. Wow, we looky there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, there's a bunch of them. of them. Wow. Okay. 
I think there's more over here too. We just gotta maybe find a way to get around. Yeah. See if we can walk around here a little bit. Here we go. Now we can see him. Well, there's a bunch of them too. Look at all that. Wow, we. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, howdy. I tell you what. Wow, we. Huh. Man, this place is really busy. That's from Manhattan, Kansas. Jensen family. Jensen family from Manhattan, Kansas. Oh, there's a bunch of them too. My goodness. All right. Well, I think we've made it all the way around. So, but we can sure look on and go another barns. Yeah. Wow. I guess that's how you get out. Okay. Well, that'll work. Okay. Well, we had to walk out the back gate that place is just too crowded wow but that's all right that's why it's the state fair and it's going to be crowded it might be more crowded today than what it was tuesday but that's okay too we'll try not to get in anybody's way uh there may be uh times when this may be muted because again they're playing really loud copyrighted music so i may have to mute parts of the video but I'll try not to do it too much or too often but I just don't see any way out of it because it's very loud but this is Hendrix Petting Zoo and they're the same ones that own the pig races which we did get to see on Tuesday so let's go in here and look around at the petting zoo for a little bit <clears throat> Okay. Well, we just go in and just look around that way instead of on the outside. Huh? Okay, we'll see how much it is. Okay. Hold on here just a second. We're going to find out some information because I'm not sure what it is in here, but let's see what we can do here. Okay, we found out it was free, so let's go look at the animals. Oh, there's some. Oh, that's a. I don't know what that is. I think that's an anteater, I think. In fact, a porcupine. Maybe a porcupine. He has a porcupine. That's a porcupine. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, look, here's some baby goats up here. Oh, yeah, they're, they are little too. Look at that one over there. Real little. Huh. Oh, look at him. 
right, cool. All right, let's let's walk around here real quick. There we go. Now, uh, these are alpacas. And yes, I had to look at the sign. These are alpacas. Three of them. Okay. There's, oh, here we go. Scottish Highland cattle. And one's a water buffalo. Let's see what we got here. Well, hello there. <laughs> yeah. Boy. You get fed good today, I bet you. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can walk around here a little bit. Now, what's this down here? Oh, I bet that's the Scottish Highland cattle right there. I bet you. Well, I bet that's water buffalo, and that's probably the Andu Brazilian zebu right there. That's what the sign says, anyway. And yeah, I do have to read the signs. <laughs> That I got to do. Okay, well, let's see if we can walk on around here a little bit. Oh, wow. Boy, little baby pigs. Yeah, if you have small hands, you can reach one. That's tiny. Look how little they are. Look behind the big pig. Yeah, they're tiny. Tiny. Oh, we got camels over here. Looky here. Yeah. We rode a cabal one time at the Oklahoma, uh, at the zoo in Oklahoma City. We rode a camel once. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh, here we go. Here's a zebra. Okay, you trying to bite me. Yeah, they will bite. It says they bite. Yeah, I can bite, it says. Have top and bottom teeth. So you gotta be careful. And then here is a silicon, no, Sicilian donkey. Well, that one's, huh? Yeah, I don't know. That one's standing up, that one's laying down. I don't know why. Okay. What we got over here? Oh, that's the Jacob Four Horn Sheep. I think we saw that one uh, Tuesday. They're being fed right now. Okay. Let's see if we can go on here. That's an emu right there. Looks like there's two of them. Two emus. Oh, it's going to be to say hi, I hope, and not attack us. <laughs> well, that breeze feels good. Well, hold there. Want to say something? Come on, you can talk. Not talk? Okay. Oh, what we got here? Oh, yeah, look at these little. I'm not sure. Yeah. Thank you. What we got over here? What are these? Oh, are these kangaroos? What are these? Oh, they kind of look like kangaroos. Oh, the other kangaroos. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I had to read the had to read the sign again. Okay. Well, now let's go see what they got on the outside. Well, that's cool. Oh, here you go. Here's the goats. That's pretty cool in there. It was free, too. Except for the feed. We didn't feed any of them. There's quite, I think they're being fed quite enough <laughs> this morning. 
Yeah. Well, I've painted one of these yesterday. I mean, Tuesday. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Oh, you want to say hi? I don't want. It. I'm afraid. I don't want to get. You want to pet him? He wants something to eat. I want something to eat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go on around, and then we're gonna work our way back the other way. Here we go. Huh. Yeah, a lot of critters. Oh, now they're walking around in there now. Okay. <laughs> Boy, all kind of goats. Wow. Oh, there's a baby goat down there. Look at there. Oh, that's a little one. My goodness. Hedrick's Petting Zoo. If you want to ride a camel, that's where you ride the camel at. It's right down there. We've done that before. Okay, let's turn back around and go look at some more animals. Because that way just goes to the rides and such. So let's keep on trucking here today. Boy, it is really nice out right now. Of course, I think it might get hotter later on today, but, you know, it is that time of year still. We're not quite into fall yet. Now, do we want to go on this side first? Let's go on this side first. And then we can look over here in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to stay away from the music, but it's not going to do it. it. It plays all over the fairgrounds. You really can't get away from it. Now, see, we can go over there in here in a little bit. And we'll look around here a little bit. Let's go in here and see what's in here. Yeah, we're doing everything we missed Tuesday. We're doing this morning. Or today, rather. And they've just got row after row after row of animals here in this building. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. These are bunny rabbits. What long ears. Some of these don't have anything in them. We'll have to, oh, these, some of these don't have anything in them. Here's something over here. This second place. And I think it's a rabbit again. Yeah, a lot of these are open. There's no, there's nothing in them. That was for sale for fifty dollars. You can have your own rabbit for fifty dollars. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We just have to take it one row at a time. I think we better stick over here though. And more rabbits. There's one for forty dollars. There's one for forty dollars. Come on down here and buy your rabbit. Oh yeah, they're top and bottom. Okay, now, you kind of got to shift back and forth. There's one for 40. Got a bunch of them for 40 and $50 range. Okay, let's go down another row. We kind of, let's see what we got going on down to another row. There's nothing in these as of yet. Let's go this way. We'll work our way down. And yet more rev. Well, that's a big one. And I don't think it's for sale. Well, that's another large rabbit. Look at that. Wow, we. 
large rabbits. Brown ones, black ones. Now these aren't for sale, I guess. I guess some are and some aren't. Okay. There's a long, ball sprawled out and chilling out this morning. I like the brown ones. I don't know how hard it is to take care of a rabbit. Okay. I don't know, maybe it's too early yet for a rabbit. I'm afraid thing will be out yet. bigger white rabbit. I know that one year that chickens and roosters and all kinds of critters. But all I'm seeing so far is rabbits. Of course we're not through with the whole thing yet. There's a black and white rabbit. Yeah. Okay. These are all empty. Huh. There's another black and white. Oh, this is for sale for $40. Black and white rabbit. There's little, little white rabbits. Oh, that was kind of nervous. Someone out of here. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. Looks like these are all open. Yeah, these are all open down through here. Yeah, there's nothing in these. We'll have to go down to the other side. There's nothing in these. Yeah, let's go down a couple of rows. See if they got anything other than rabbits. Now there's other there's another barn over here. We'll go through that one here a little bit. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we got down here at this other barn area. Kansas State Fair. Oh, I think I hear the roosters. Maybe they got more. Oh, yeah. I think we found them.
Mm, different kinds of birds. Oh, look at their little duck. Hmm. There's a different one, colored one. Oh, here's some turkeys. Yeah, sure enough. Big old turkeys. Oh, that's a goose there. And yes, I've got to look. Heavy goose. Well, that is a heavy one. Wow. Wow, we. They're noisy. Huh? These are roosters, yes, these are roosters. Yep. Well, hello. Uh oh, <laughs> didn't mean to make you mad. <laughs> wow, we. It says heavy duck. Boy. We need to get us a chicken or two for the Pisces eggs. Wow. Rhode Island Red. What's this one? New Hampshire, New Hampshire American. These are all New Hampshire, well not all of them. These are New Hampshire American chickens. Boy, howdy. They're noisy. Ooh, okay. All right. Yeah, okay, we'll go back out this way. Or, no, we gotta go this way. Alright, well, we saw a bunch of rabbits and chicken and roosters. Here's another pavilion right over here. And let's go through 
Let's see what's going on over here. Looks like they have some uh, food items over here. Okay, well, all right. We can just kind of walk around here a little bit. Let's go over here and look around this. I don't know what's over here. I guess we can go find out. There's a brand new trailer right there. I think that's one we saw yesterday. Hot dog, two dollar hot dogs and snow cones and all kinds of stuff. Let's go see what's in here. <sighs> oh, I think these are cows and such over here. Yeah. Boy, howdy. Council Grove, Kansas, where that one's from. Uh, yeah, wow, we. Boy. A couple of them laying down. Well, they got the fans going. I hope you can hear me over. It's pretty noisy in here. Here's some more cows. Boy, howdy. Yep. There's one getting a bath. Boy, it smells good. The soap smells good. Oh, look at the size of this one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Size of that cow. Man, it's huge. Yeah. Oh, these are all getting cleaned up. Boy, that's a pretty one right there. Huh? Those are nice cows. So are, really nice. And these are huge. I mean, wow, we are big. Some of these are really big.
Okay. Well, we've seen quite a variety of animals so far. Okay, well, did you want to go on down? Okay. Well, let's continue on our journey here today. All this food's making me hungry, and I know we had breakfast this morning. <laughs> Have we been over there? Okay. Let's go see what's over here. Huh? Oh, okay, we can. Let's go watch this trooper's trying to lasso. Let's see how good he is. And they have all kinds of supplies. Yeah, let's see how good these troopers are. <laughs> You're the one I'm worried about. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow, we got him. All right. Yeah, good job. Yeah, you did good on that. Wow, we. That'd be another way to catch a criminal, wouldn't it? It works. <laughs> it works. Let's see if we can do it again. Yeah. Now that guy there was real good. Come on, get, there you go. Wow, cool. Yeah, wow. That might come in handy one of these days. <laughs> well, there will be another way to apprehend a criminal. That might come in handy someday. Last one might come in handy one day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mike. <laughs> That's a good job. You did real good. Thank you. Hi. All right. And there's all kinds of stuff for sale in there. Oh, boy, howdy. Yeah, it looks like they got one going on. We'll see when the next one is. See, what time is it? 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I think they have one every hour. But we'll go see. We've got plenty of time. Oh, they're hoof and horn. I've heard of them. I think it's a real nice uh, eating establishment. Yeah, they got one again at... Uh, they got one at noon. I think we'll stick around here and look at some other... Th oh, there's a boutique over there. Sugar Creek Boutique. Oh, we go over here too and look around. Let's go do that. Huh? Oh. Yeah, we gotta wait an hour and there'll be another one. So we'll just hang around here for a little bit. Let's go see if they've got in here. Boy. Yeah. They got some nice clothes. Hmm. Huh? 
I know, that's crazy. Oh, let me show them this. I'm gonna show you the price of some of this. Look, this little purse right here. Uh, $98 for that. These things are really nice, but they're really, very expensive. But, you know, I mean, they normally are. That's just something you got to get used to. Now, this has two sides. Let's go to the Oz Gallery and we'll look around a little bit. I'm going to try to stick around here. Oh, is it even open? Oh, I don't know. It should be. There's Ad Astro Pavilion. We'll go through that in a minute. Let's go over here first to the Oz Gallery. High voltage safety demonstration, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. That might be kind of interesting. Well, oh, we're going in the wrong way. Let's go over here first. Let's go look at these tiled pictures. Oh, look, corn, guitar, rides. Yeah, let's go over here and look around a little bit. We kind of come in this backward, I guess. Let's go through the Ad Astra Pavilion. All kinds of water fountains. Yeah, they got them for your, for your water bottles. You can fill them up. Oh, I don't think there's anything going on. Well, they got the safety demonstrations going on. Huh? Yeah, we don't have to watch it. It's okay. Okay. Okay, well, let's go on. Yeah. We'll have to go over here and get in for the Oz galleries over here. We kind of came in from the back way. Those are cool. Yeah, let's go over here. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, I had to turn the sound off for a while. Now we're back on. And this is what that, these wood, wood carvers carve. They have an auction. And they auction all these off. We saw some of these the other day. Uh, Tuesday, we saw a lot of these. That they carved. But yeah. But it is an auction, so, you know. But they do some really cool carvings. They really do. Really nice. The big old rooster and the horse down there.
Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Here's a, looks like Legos, right there. A Boy Scout uh, kit, trip 1450. There's all kinds of crafts. Oh, that looks like a first aid kit right there. Yeah. Let's go back. Oh, good one. Something we got to go look at over here. One of these has the butter, butter sculpture. We're not quite there yet. But here's the... Uh, from the Wizard of Oz. There's the flying monkeys and the scarecrow, cowardly lion, Dorothy, Tin Man, and the wizard himself. All lined up in a row. And there's one down here too. We'll go take a look at it. And here's, here's some more of them. I'm going to have to stop for just a minute and take a picture of these. Okay, took some pictures and now we're going to watch the train go by. And we did ride the train just the other day, Tuesday. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just killing time. I've got to wait till noon to do the... Uh, about 45 minutes um, to do the milk and demonstration because I messed up <laughs> Tuesday but I won't do that again today I'm actually using my stabilizer or selfie stick this morning I've not really used my head mount or chest mount yet but I will let's go look at this dairy land I don't think we did that yesterday either I mean <laughs> Tuesday let's go look through the dairy land yeah, we got 45 minutes. And then, well, not quite 45 minutes, about 40 minutes, actually. Yeah, we can go over here and look around. This is Dairyland. Uh, Golden uh, Plains Llama Association. Yeah. We go around here and look around a little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Twin Creeks Llama Lookout. And these are llamas coming up right here. Tolly, is that how you pronounce that? Tolly? Okay, hello there, Tolly. Tally, Tolly. And this name is Chimera? Uh oh. Oh, yeah, they will. I know they will. Yeah. You know, got to be careful. To stay warm. This is what they make out of llama. Uh, these are all made hand knitted socks and scarves and hats and gloves. All hand knitted. What do you got over here? Please don't touch my head. A gentle touch on my neck or back is okay. Okay. We can't touch them on their back or their back of their neck. Boy, look at the legs on that. Uh oh. Sorry, I didn't know it was gonna move around so much. Oh hello there. Well, you that hay now. All right. All kinds of ribbons. Here's some goats. Look at them, look at them playing. Boy. Boy. Oh, they're wrestling. <laughs> All right. 
some more products over there that you can yarn looks like yarn and okay oh boy they got all kinds of look at that all kinds of yarn Oh, okay. Did you want to get you some yarn? No, no. Oh, okay. Oh, I like these. Look here. I like these. For for pistols. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, it looks all empty over there. Says, Please do not pet the cow. Thank you. I think they just got one cow. <laughs> one cow over here. Yeah, you might as well get hit. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's go back out this way now. Yeah. That, those llama... Um, knitted items are really nice but they are a little pricey but you know they're hand knitted <clears throat> boy they got abundant amount of hay Yeah, we're going to stick in this neck of the woods for a little while, but then we're going to go on and we're going to explore the whole park, hopefully today. we got pavilions to go through yet. We've got all kinds of stuff to do today. We're not, we're just getting started. Oh, they got some Dewey's uh, trucks and these are the big trucks. Over here, let's go take a look at these big trucks. There's a farm truck, of course. It's made for the farm. Oh, $29,500. It is a, a dual cab. These are all dual cab. Yeah. I guess if you was a, a wealthy rancher or farmer, you wouldn't mind having one of them. Okay. Well, we still got about that 35 minutes to go yet. Oh, yeah. You know, like I said, anytime you're using something that you've never used before, you're going to make mistakes. You know, so, I mean, it's just a matter of learning uh, just a matter of learning you want to take take break sit down for a little bit yeah. okay yeah okay I think we're going to take a break and wait on the milking demonstrations here for a little bit and we'll be back here shortly thank you so much for joining us my name is Carrie Hamilton I am here on behalf of Southwest Dairy Farmers, here to teach you a little bit about the dairy industry, a little bit about cow care and nutrition, and I have brought along Temperance Coraline. This is Tempe. She is my six-year-old Jersey cow. She lives on my farm with my family and I in Spring Hill, Kansas, and we travel all over the state of Kansas teaching about the dairy industry. We bring this to schools, festivals, and fairs for absolutely free. So if you have kiddos in school, or if you know a teacher friend, tell them about the Mobile Dairy Classroom, or go to southwestdairyfarmers.com, request a visit, and we will bring the Mobile Dairy Classroom to you. The first thing I want to talk about is our balanced diet. So important that we're getting a balanced diet. And within our balanced diet are three to four or more servings of dairy. Really easy and really important to get those servings of dairy. Drink the milk out of your cereal bowl, use whole milk in your coffee drink, have some string cheese or yogurt for lunch, and at the end of the day, have another glass of milk. 
just eight ounces of milk contains 13 vitamins and nutrients. The vitamins and nutrients inside of milk and dairy products give us strong, healthy teeth and bones, good for our blood pressure, good for our overall immune system. When we are drinking milk and putting cheese on our sandwiches, we are eating and drinking things like protein that gives us strong, healthy muscles and helps with muscle repair. There are things like riboflavin inside of dairy products that gives us energy. So many ways and so many easy ways to get those three to four or more servings of dairy every single day of our lives. Now we know that milk comes from dairy cows, just like Tempe. Tempe is a Jersey cow. The Jersey cow is the second most popular dairy cow in North America. One Jersey cow can weigh up to 850 pounds and one Jersey cow will produce about six gallons of milk a day. Jersey cow milk is really rich and creamy, best used for things like butter and cheese and ice cream. Now the other breeds that we have in North America are the Ayrshire, the Guernsey, the Milking Shorthorn, the Brown Swiss, the Red and White Holstein, and that big Black and White Holstein cow that we all recognize. The Holstein cow is the most popular dairy cow. One Holstein cow can weigh up to 2,000 pounds, and one Holstein cow will produce more than 10 gallons of milk in one day. Now we keep our cows very happy and healthy by giving them a balanced diet and taking care of her udder. Her udder where her milk is stored can only hold so much, so we have to empty out her udder twice a day to keep her body healthy. So every morning when she comes in for breakfast, she gets 12 pounds of grain. Throughout the day, she can eat 40 to 60 pounds of hay, and then she comes back in in the evening for her evening milking, and she'll have another 12 pounds of grain. She also drinks about 40 gallons of water a day. But if you'll notice, you can see a dairy cow's hip bones and those ribs. When a dairy cow eats, she's eating to stay healthy and then make milk. She will never make a bunch of meat different than beef cows. Beef cattle are eating to stay healthy, pack on meat and muscle, and that is the meat we use to help feed the world. But dairy cow bodies are very different. They'll always have those big bony hips. Now, cows are ruminant animals. Ruminant animals have four stomach compartments. When Tippy eats, she uses that long tongue to scoop up her food and she basically swallows it whole. Cows do not have top teeth. They only have bottom teeth and in the back they have grinders. So she swallows that food, then she ruminates like she's doing now. She pulls out a little bit of that food out of one of those four stomach compartments, pulls it up into her mouth, chews it up, and she'll swallow. And then you'll see her regurgitate again, chew and swallow. She ruminates. She does this many hours during the day. As she is ruminating, her body is digesting that food. It is passing through all four stomach compartments. And then it's because of those lumpy glands that you see all over her tummy and all over her udder. These are her mammary glands, mammary glands and milk veins that dairy cows have huge mammary glands and milk veins making milk all of the time and that milk of course is stored in her udder. But a dairy cow will only make milk after she has had her first baby. So yes, Tempe is a mama. It is only the mamas that produce milk. Once those calves are born on a dairy farm, those calves will stay with mom for about 48 hours, getting all of that colostrum. Once mama's milk comes in, she's making anywhere from three to four gallons of milk at breakfast time and another three to four gallons of milk at dinner time. That is way too much milk for a 65 pound animal. So it is up to the dairy farmer to protect those calves from overeating. We keep the babies in the nursery, giving those calves a balanced diet. They get a bottle in the morning and a bottle in the evening. We're also taking care of mama, making sure that her udder is milked out properly. And I'll show you how we do that now. The first thing we do when the cows come in for their milking, I have to disinfect her udder. Her udder is divided into four parts. Those four teats are where her milk comes from. If she has germs on her teats, I need to make sure to wash her down and then I take a little bit of milk from each teeth to make sure that that milk is bright white. Then we attach the milking claw. This claw runs on suction. This is a very gentle part of her morning because when Tippy wakes up in between her milkings, her udder can weigh an extra 30 to 35 pounds. That is a lot of pressure. So this is a very relaxing part of her day.
and there you see it. You can see the milk leaving her udder, going through the tubes and into our whey jar. On a typical morning or evening, it would take 10 to 12 minutes and we would have about that much milk in the jar. I can't milk her out, I do have other presentations, but this is how easy it is. This is where your milk comes from. This is where your cheese and your yogurt and your ice cream start from a dairy cow just like this. But before this milk ends up on your lunch table or your dinner table, two very important things happen to this milk. This milk has to be pasteurized and homogenized. Those words will be written on your milk carton. Pasteurization is the heating process. After all of the mamas on the farm have been milked, that milk is, goes into a stainless steel holding tank, never touched by human hands. That milk is heated to a high temperature and then cooled down. It is pasteurized to kill any germs or bacteria that might have gotten into that milk. And then the milk is homogenized. Cream molecules broken up and mixed together so that it is a nice fluid drinking milk. Once those two things happen, the cold tanker truck picks it up. Milk will always be tested for antibiotics and no matter what brand you choose, all milk in the store is antibiotic free. Then that milk is going to be packaged and sent to your store. This happens so quickly. Milk is an all natural product. There are no additives in milk. There are no preservatives in milk to make the shelf life any longer. So we have to get this milk to you really quickly. And this is how fast it happens. The milk is pasteurized, homogenized, tested, packaged, shipped, and delivered to your store in 48 hours. That's just two days. So the next time you go to the store, buy milk, and say to the person you're with that the milk in that container was in a cow, just like Tempe, just two days ago. That's how quickly it travels to you. And remember, get your three to four or more servings of dairy every single day for strong, healthy teeth and bones, healthy eyes, hair, skin, and nails, good for our blood pressure, good for our overall immune system, and milk has been proven to be more hydrating than water. So after a long, hot day on the fairgrounds, get yourself an extra glass of milk to stay hydrated. And I'm gonna thank you all so much for joining me. If you have any questions, come on up. Enjoy the rest of the fair. Thank you so much. If I have any teachers in the crowd with groups of students, um, come see me. I do have a coupon for each one of you students. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you.